So, ball position. So, here he's driving for Team Association. Really, Captain Team, Association, Ruga, Restate Traffic, and RB Tuesday. Ball position number one, Tommy Hall. Tommy Hall, pole position for Associated. Some great performances over the day. And then the main rival for Schumacher is Lee Martin. Thanks, Lee. One of the original supporters of Raceway 1, of course, going way back. The early days of the EOS. Neil Craig quietly said to me after yesterday, didn't care about today. Well, I wish I could not care about racing qualify third, quite something. Fourth place qualifier, Ben Smith. There we go, Ben. Absolutely flying. Making lovely, lovely progress in his career. Josh Holdsworth, TQ man in two wheel drive, of course. Finals didn't go his way, but might do better in four-wheel drive. Jamie Hall, second Hall brothers, oh, second of the Hall brothers, another associated driver, known for his technical videos on YouTube. Check them out. Magic, Rico, Magic, and Burton Motors, your seventh Polish fire, Lewis Hopkins. Lewis Hopkins, new young gun, making it into the A final. Well done to him. Johnny Skidmore, first time. Johnny Skidmore makes it as I just take a quick photo. First A final. The man of multi talents, Ed Callum. Not supposed to tell anyone, but he is an excellent painter. In case you didn't know, paints a lot of. Schumacher shells, I believe. Tenth. The second set of brothers. It is Luke Holsworth in tenth. There is your A final. Leg number two coming up after a short pause. Back to you in a moment. Okay. Four-wheel drive, A final leg number two. We saw Tommy Hall and Lee Martin battle out the first one. Let's see what happens in this one. Big thanks, Schumacher, Speedworks, Model Tune, Root Bits, FF Racing, SEMCS, and Briefcase Graphics. And between that bunch, I don't think there's anything you can't buy. So whether you need Sandmar radio gear or highest servos or an associated kit, or whatever you might need, support them. Big thanks to Muzz who has run the racing all day and big thanks to Tony of Doka in the commentary. Here comes Tony. Okay, just getting the rest of the grid sorted out. Thumbs up from the Emperor. Grid is set, all marshals are at the ready. Good luck drivers, make it a good one. A final, leg number two. Here we go. And leg two is underway. Is it going to be as close as leg one? Don't see any reason why not. 
Neil Cragg already looking for a little, little avenue by Lee Martin. Didn't make it happen though. So uh, one, two, three, four, five. They're all sort of in qualifying order. A couple of little twitches further down. Not too sure if any positions change. One, two, three, four. Oh, Jamie Hall throws it up on the inside as, as does Jonathan Skidmore. So Skidmore jumps up a couple of places, well, three places, I think. And uh, already, look at these guys going down the straight. One, two, three, four. They have actually put the hammer down from word go. So, of course, we all know if Tommy wins this one, he wins the meeting. We know this. And so does everybody else in this race. So Lee Martin in hot pursuit takes that very nice line onto the straight. And Neil Cragg still with them, as is Ben Smith, as is Jonathan Skidmore. A great showing for Jonathan Skidmore. On the banking they go. That car has decided to retire, I think. Yeah, that's good. Here they come, round by race control. Still, Tommy from Lee, from Neil. And then we've got Ben. Oh, Ben makes an error and Jonathan nips through for another position. Jonathan Skidmore having an A final to remember here at Robin Hood. But here come the front runners, have broken away now. Jonathan trying to stay with them. 22.55 from Lee Martin. Wow. Trying to lay it down. Neil Cragg likewise. But Tommy Hall still out in front as you can all see. Half race distance. Is it going to go to a third leg? Tommy Hall doesn't want that. He wants it done and dusted right here. Lee Martin very fast onto the straight, has closed the gap a little. It has to be said, closing the gap and making it happen are two different things, but he's going to try. I can promise you he will try. And they are superb through there. 22, eighth best lap for Hall. 22.55 and 22.58 from Lee and Neil, but it's still Tommy Hall. Is he driving within himself, we all ask? Three minutes, 15, 145 to go. They go into the bomber hole, jumping out the other side. I can't do that at all. Down the straight they come. Tommy Hall seems to have stretched it a little bit. Lee's very fast through this little section here in front of race control. Neil Cragg, I suppose, has lost a little bit of yardage here. And it's still the associated car, really powered, of Tommy Hall. From the Schumacher, Orca powered, of Lee Martin. Oh, Tommy slightly got out of shape there, just came out wide, touched the actual sand. But last time round, 22.78 for Tommy, 22.79 for Lee Martin. We are in our last minute. This is where it happens or doesn't for Lee Martin. And this is where Tommy Hawker win the meeting. We have 40 seconds remaining. Is still Tommy Hall out in front. Who's that? I can't, oh, it's Lee. Neil Crack to the two spot. Whoa. <laughs> what do you say about that? Is he going to be caught cool with 15 seconds to go? He might not even get through this lap. I'm not too sure. 10 seconds to go and counting. He might get through. Everybody else might not. Ladies and gents, he comes down the straight. And he continues. Tommy Hall has just won 
the four-wheel drive first national of the season. Give him a round of applause as he goes up the banking and coming round for his last lap. There's your winner. There it is. Tommy Hall takes the win with a leg one and leg two win as he is congratulated by his counterparts. Fantastic. Fantastic result for Tommy. Well driven. There is the overall points. Who is going to take the rest of the podium positions?